Hello, Michelle. My name is Charles Marine. Um, thanks for getting in touch with me through uh, Facebook. Um, I work with your local SEO professionals. Um, it's a small company that I started um, to help local businesses bring, uh, build their online presence and therefore attract more clients. Um, here I am over here. Um, so I, I used to live in Lancaster, but uh, moved down to Philadelphia um, some years ago. And um, I was a teacher by trade. And then just recently, you know, after the last year we've had, I um, decided to look for um, other ways to help and impact the local area around me. I'd like to uh, take, take a look at your website and um, help you optimize it for Google so that you can rank um, whenever people are searching for service you are providing. All right, so um, the three tips I want to give you, and uh, these are very important when it comes to SEO and ranking within local searches. Three things I want to talk about today are number one, content, number two, citations, and number three, uh, backlinks. So uh, content, content is everything that's on your website, um, meaning all the text, all the pictures, everything here that I've highlighted in blue. Um, this is all content. This is what Google sees as content. Um, even believe it or not, how images are saved. You see how it's saved as Mr. Logo Black. That image, um, Google looks at whatever is behind the text in images and considers that as content. So it's it's optimal for Google to have about 1,000 to 1,500 words of authoritative text on uh, at least your front page and also on your other on your other pages. So uh, what do I mean by by authoritative content? Content that shows who you are, what you do, um, why you're relevant to your local community, and um, also includes various keywords, saturated with keywords that um, people use to search for your service. For example, if I searched for um, wedding dresses in York, PA, that's a buyer intent uh, keyword, meaning someone who searches for this wants to buy a wedding dress in York, PA, and they will probably click on the first link, um, on the first uh, good deal that they see or good link that they see. It's generally known about 70% of people who search online for local services, about 70% click on this first page. So it's very important to be on this first page, and otherwise you're less, you're missing out on a lot of uh, of your market. So um, it's very important to be um, to have to be optimized for Google to have the right keywords, so that um, whenever someone's searching for wedding dresses, York, PA, Google knows to put you at the front of the line. So um, I would definitely increase the amount of content you have here to write, to be between 1,000 to 1,500 uh, words. Um, also, your text is a little bit small. So, you know, if you think of the people who have trouble reading this text, um, it, it would be, you're, you're also letting, letting a lot of your market go because whoever's landed on your page already wants to do see what you're about and probably do business they 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 want to be converted to be a client so um, i would increase the size of your text so that you it's more accessible to people and then increase the again increase the number of words and include more and more buyer intent keywords like wedding dresses york pa etc um one other thing i wanted to mention is that i see your your site is not secure and that's a very easy thing to fix, depending on which um, what platform you created this website on. But it's important to have it as secure. Otherwise, Google will see it as a spammy site and, and not um, rank you as high. All right, so that's content. The second thing I want to talk about is citations. Now, citations has to do with this part of the, of the Google search result page. It's known as the map pack. Um, so just a word about the results page. If someone searches for this, first thing that pops up are the Google ads. Now Google ads are um, always hit or miss. That's what I like to say because these days a lot of people have um, ad blockers. 
So if they have ad blockers and you're buying Google ads, you're missing out on a lot of your market. Secondly, people are psychologically, they don't like to click on Google and on, on any advertisements. I don't myself. Um, yeah, but they are a quick way to get your um, your your face out there so uh, there's pros and cons and it also depends on what keywords you use and the price of those keywords because all of this is pay per click you pay for every time someone clicks if you have a high conversion rate once people get to your website then i would definitely suggest doing this but if not this might be a waste of money so this second section here known as the map pack is what i want to talk about when it comes to citations so you have a map here with three businesses if you click on the view all you'll see more businesses on the map pack you can see the first one here is the ad is a google ad which might not show if you have uh ad blocker now how do you rank on this in in, in this area here on the on the map pack well that comes down to citations now a citation is wherever on the web um, your business is cited your name address and phone number are cited in different directories or all across the web and by directories I mean Facebook um, LinkedIn uh, Yext uh, Dexnos Better Business Bureau um, yeah any any kind of I don't know why I'm blacking out, but um, any directory online that's reputable, the more it's like a popularity contest. The more directories you're in, the higher you'll rank within this area here, the map pack. So I took, I have a tool called WhiteSpark, and I took the liberty of just putting in your business and your top competitor in the map pack, Renaissance Bridles and Prom. And here I can see that you have about 29 citations. They have 43. So it's, it's, it's not very hard to beat them. All you need to do is just increase the number of citations. So I can click onto, onto here with the, using this tool. And I can see all the different directories that your competitors are in. And now to beat them, to get more citations, I would come in here and make sure you're represented in, in every one of these directories. And then probably double or triple the number, get to about 150 citation sources so that you can um, keep yourself on top of this map pack and get more traffic. All right, so the third thing I want to talk about now is backlinks. Backlinks have to do with this section that's below the map pack, and it's where you find your organic uh, search results. I'm going to use um, David's Bridal, the first one here, as an, an example, and also Lila's Bridal Boutique as an example. I have a tool called AREFs, which analyzes uh, different websites. And once again, I put in your website, I put in David's Bridal, which I'll talk about, and Lila's, Bri uh, Lila's Bridal Boutique. These are your top competitors. I want to show you how you can beat them on the on um, Google search results. So um, first of all, let me explain what backlinks are. Backlinks, well, the internet is like a whole collection of web pages linked together. A backlink is a link on a different website that points to your website. So it drives traffic your direction. Not all backlinks are created equal. Um, for example, here I'll show you uh, this tool can analyze websites on a scale of 0 to 100. You can see the backlinks that you have are uh, range from 0 to 20 in strength. Now, uh, Google sees different backlinks differently. They're not all created equal. If uh, Pizza Hut was linking to your website and you guys have nothing to do, nothing in common really, in terms of services, um, Google will, see, will rank that as a lower rated uh, backlink. And if you have many, many, many of those, then they're more spammy than not. Um, if you have a, let's say it's a um, designer, a wedding dress designer who writes a blog and mentions your website and has a link to it, a backlink to it. That counts for a lot more 
um, authority and Google's think will therefore assume you're authoritative in this area. So just looking at your competitors backlinks, let's start with uh, Lila's Bridal Boutique. They have about 1000. And if I click on them, I can tell exactly where they are mentioned. So to actually come in, it's not too hard to come in and look at each of these um, backlinks. Make sure that you're also mentioned and there's a link to your site from, from uh, whatever site this is. A lot of them might be just uh, directories or blog posts or guest posts. However, I would go in, um, if I was you or your website or SEO person, go in um, to each of these backlinks and make sure you're represented there. But not only that, I would go ahead and get even better and more, many more backlinks to be able to beat them. So if you look at the strength of the backlinks, a lot of them lie in the 0 to 10 range. So I would be looking for backlinks that are higher from the 41 and above range. And I also want to look at David Bridles because they're the first ones who are beating you. Now, David Bridles is, a, I believe, a national company. So they will rank high, the strength of their main website. The main domain is very high. However, when we want to look at um, what points directly to the York PA site, I can, um, I can do that using this tool because it's it's taking this exact location and I can see it's pretty easy to rank better than than them over here they only have 16 backlinks for that one site when you search for that one keyword and most of them are yeah a lot of them are directories so I don't think that it would be very very hard to rank higher than your competitors here it does take a little bit of time, but it is very possible. One last thing I want to mention is uh, organic keywords that drive traffic. So if you look at the keywords, like for example, I search for wedding dresses York PA. Wedding dresses York PA. And this is how they're ranking for it. Then first position, 60 people search for that term every month and they get about 22 people um going to their website because of it depending on the conversion rate that's a lot so i can come in and do a little bit of research and see which domains rank for this for this um keyword and you can see lila's bridal boutique is here so it would be good to help you get more of the of this traffic by saturating your website with this keyword and you'll notice that um, david's bridal ranks for a lot of other keywords prom dresses york pa 80 people search per month they get six from that because they're in position five to see who's in position one i would uh, come here and see renaissance and lila's bridal boutique they get a lot of traffic so for you to rank for this word would be really beneficial for you you can grab this i don't know what um, at least 20 more clients would mean if they're coming to your site here for you so those are the three things i would like to i wanted to talk about um content citations and backlinks this video went really way more than i thought it would but i hope um, it helps you um, and I hope you can get more clients. Thank you very much for your time, Michelle. Uh, once again, my name is uh, Charles Marine. Here's a picture of me. Um, I work with your local SEO professionals. My email address is here if you want to pause and take it down or um, my phone number. If you want to work with me, I am more than um, willing to have a discussion about that. Or you can hand these tips to your website person and help you let them help you get ranking um, on immediately if possible. Thank you and have a great day.